Slick and I want to do subjective readings of some fans at 7 volts versus at 12 volts in terms of how they sound. And uh, we discovered that we don't have a single 12 to 7 volt resistor in the entire Tech Tip studio. So uh, because the rest of the office is closed off right now, I'm forced to make myself a ghetto one. I mean, this is one of those never ever do this, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway, just in case you ever have to kind of things. So basically you've got a standard four pin to three pin adapter. Oh, is this even going to be able to plug into all the fans? I guess we'll have to, uh, well, all you got to do is just cut away the, um, the casing. Anyway, standard four pin Molex uh, peripheral connector to three pin. So the way that voltage is derived is from a difference. So yellow carries 12 volt, black carries ground. So that will deliver 12 volts to the fan. However, if I take Okay, so a way to deliver 5 volts to the fan would be to hook the fan up to this and this, or this and this. So this, is, this carries 5 volts, this carries 12, these carry ground. However, if I want to deliver 7 volts to the fan, I can hook the 12 volt up to the 5 volt, and that will be a difference of 7 volts. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Never ever do this, of course. And most importantly, once you plug this in, Never plug like a hard drive or anything into this because it'll be miswired now because I've changed these around. So all you got to do if you guys have uh, have ever depinned a Molex before, then you'll know how to do this. But you just kind of grab it. Uh, it's better to have better tools, but I don't happen to have my tools with me because we're trying to do something here and we don't have a whole lot of time. So um, there we go. Oh, apparently the battery is running out on the camera too. So I'll just work on this while Slick goes and changes the battery and then we'll be good to go. So all you do is bend the pins in with a needle a little bit. So you bend those two tabs on either side of the pin. So I'm just going to do this one really quick here. Uh, I just need to see where they are. Yeah, with the camera there, it's pretty hard to see what I'm doing, but it's okay. It's all good. There we go. Okay, so you pull that out. Once you pull it out, you then bend the tabs back out so that they'll hook back in once you, uh, once you put them back in. See how they're flared now? And then the one that I bent in is not flared anymore, so you just go ahead and uh, stick that in there and sort of try to... My needle's really dull now because I've used it for this an awful lot. And there you go. Flare that out. Flare that out. So, yeah, I, once again, like, if you ever make yourself an adapter like this, I have one at home that I made. Like, what I did was I wrapped it up like this, and then I, like wrote on here 7v fan adapter like do not plug and then if you're really smart you might like cover this with something so you never accidentally plug something in so basically i'm going to take this and throw it in there take this and throw it in there and now i have made myself see how i have this now going to what is essentially 12 volt and 5 volt i have made myself a 7 volt fan adapter which you should never do